Hey Bottom Pushers, my name is Nick and welcome to Hair of the Dog. Now I recently played a game called with a demo for a game called Lucy Dreaming by Tall Story Games and they reached out and said hey we have another game, here it is and here it is. So this is Hair of the Dog and you have to help Cumberbund Bandersnatch reverse the effects of his uncle's good time formula. So yeah, good. Uh, this is another point and click game, which is great. I love point and click games and tall story games. Their humour is on point. I'm a big fan of ridiculous British humour, funnily enough. That's what they do. So let's go. London, 1859. 8pm. Oh. Uncle? Uncle, where the blazes is he? He's probably gone out looking for a good time again. It'll be his Uncle. undoing, mark my words. Let's see what the mad old codger's been up to lately. Roderick Bandersnatch's good time formula. My secret blend of essential oils, quartz crystals, and animal parts has resulted in success. Harnessing the body's natural circadian rhythm to trigger a transformation. Mm -hmm. Senses and animal magnetism are heightened between the hours of 8pm and 8am daily. Guaranteeing a good time for the host for 12 hours every day. On subsequent pages I've written the formula to reverse the effects if desired. It looks like he's already knocked back half of it. I bet he's out there now trying his luck with the local strumpets. The Randy Galoot. I guess it's safe to give Randy it a try. Randy What's your problem? Oh well, down the hatch. This seems unwise. Good heavens. It tastes like rancid sloth offal. <laughs> uh oh. I don't feel so good. I feel weird. Hmm. I hope drinking my uncle's formula doesn't come back to bite me later in the day. I feel I should probably mix up that reversing formula quickly. I feel like it's going to affect me between the hours of 8 p.m. and 8 a.m. Let me see. It's after 8 a.m. Okay, that's good. Right, look at Doge. It looks like my uncle bought himself a new dog. Did he, or is that in fact my uncle? Hmm? They look very fragile. Hmm? Hair of the dog. Looks like a recipe for an antidote to my uncle's formula. Hmm. Uh-huh. Yada, yada, yada. Really? If you say so. Okay then. I need to boil up water, opium and dog hair in a large crucible. Then drink it. I can hardly wait. That sounds like a real bad time. It's empty. He only gets up if there's food on offer. Okay. No idea what's in these ones. It's got cold tea in it. It's state of the art. Can I pick up the dog? I don't Get want to hair. just yank his hair out. Fine. Okay. So, right, let's pick up lemon food. No point. It's empty. Oh, yeah. You said that. Can I pick up the cold tea? Absolutely. Oh, that's doily. These things will always be popular. <laughs> okay. Didn't mean to pick up the doily, but okay. I don't want any cold tea. Want some It's a prototype, and there's no gas. Hmm. It's an elephant's foot with sticks in it. Can I take said sticks? Why not? No one else is using it. Perfect. Violin. Gently, gently. <laughs> Bugger. One of the strings Bugger. snapped off. Ah, okay. Oh my god, I can actually go outside. Okay, right. Let's, we'll, we'll stick to Uncle's lab for now. It goes upstairs. Can I go upstairs? It goes... Fine. It's my uncle. He's always looking for a good time. I wonder where he is now. He's here. He's here. He's right here. No, 
My uncle would kill me if I broke it. I think I'm in enough trouble already. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else I can take from here, so yes, let's go outside. Hello, ringmaster. He's a professional louse tamer. <laughs> nice lice. Thank you. It takes years of hard work to train them to jump like that. How do you train, do your, you lice? train your lice? I let them swim around in amphetamine for 20 minutes every morning. Can I have some of your lice? They are not for sale, but are free to leave whenever they wish. I like your moustache. Thank you. You should get yourself one. Where does your traveling circus travel to? From the farthest reaches of the east to the great unknown of the west. You mean you go up and down the street? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bye. So long. It's the front door to someone's house. He's pretty hammered. There are more coherent people to talk to. Fine. I'd rather not. He looks like he's not keen on being interrogated in any way. <laughs> nice door. Not with my current condition. Oh, <laughs> oh weenie rots. <laughs> I don't think that's hair tonic. <laughs> I don't want to go in there. That's oh, at a pie shop, of course. She's worked here so long, she probably tastes like pie. <laughs> It's a trickling stream of raw sewage. <laughs> Some sexy stockings with a tight weave. For the larger gentlemen. They're full of holes. I, I love this so much. I prefer... They're just my size. I figured I was going to be able to They're take some of that. not much use with all those holes. He looks entrepreneurial. <laughs> Hello. How's the sweetie business? I'm offering a free minty bum hog to every customer bum hog. to try and get rid of them. A minty bum hog. Can I have a free sweet? They're in the bowl. Only one per customer. What do you do at night? This place turns into a juice bar. I offer free samples of those too. What free juice samples do you have at night? We have an arsenic cleanser. A cyanide buzz and a regular poppy juice. The problem is, they all look the same, so it's a lucky dip. Poppy juice. It'd be interesting. Bye. See you later. Could maybe get opium from that, maybe? Don't mind if I do. A bum hook. A minty bum hook. It's the trademan's entrance. I don't want to go too far in case my condition gets worse. Okay. So I've got quite a lot. They look pretty tasty. Can I take a pie? I don't have any money. Damn it. Can I talk to Mr. Good day, young lady. Don't try and sweet talk me. Felicitations. Felicitations, Mrs. Figgins. Piss off. That what right. pies do you have? Lean meat only today. Why do you have a bonnet like that in a kitchen? It soaks up sweat and pie grease, although it does make it treacherously flammable. Huh. You're completely covered in pie grease, Mrs. Figgins. It's to keep parasites away. You haven't seen any around, have you? It's like they're attracted to me. Ooh. I'm in the mood hmm. for a greasy pie. That all depends on the meat supply. If you don't like what we have, you can sod off. So do I need her bonnet to get a louse, which I can then give to the dog, which will make them scratch and their hair might come out? Some of the hair might come out? Where does your Maybe. meat come from it's all sourced very locally <laughs> very locally bye but right, let's look at the stuff i have in my inventory lacy and great for soaking up liquid hmm okay interesting it's long and has a shiny knob at one end <laughs> it's made of cat gut 
They have a pretty tight weave on them. It's a small minty sweet. Well, that hasn't helped me. Let me see. It's after 8 a.m. That's curious. I wonder what it's for. Fresh meat. Uh, use doily with Miss Figgins. That doesn't need mopping up. Use the with stains. That doesn't need mopping up. With the sewage? I really hope not, because that would be gross. Lacey, no, I'm great. Why not? Uh, use but That doesn't need. Okay, that's that's good. Because oh, I clicked out the game. There we go. Yeah, that that would have been gross. Okay. So, I've spoken to everyone I can here. Can I go to the park? I can. Good lord. Oh, I... It's me. What's wrong? My betrothed... Oh, no. ...has left me. Why has she left you? She found a better man. Oh, Bye. No. It was... Oh, He's wait. not a... Was he of a less... <laughs> porcine okay. stature? Absolutely not. My bubble craves substantial love. No, substantial love. it was his weird, his luscious, scented, <coughs> manicured, exquisite beard. I just couldn't compete. Why don't you just go and get your beard trimmed? I can't be seen out on the street like this. I'm a wreck. Just dry your eyes and get yourself to the barbers. I don't have a handkerchief to wipe away my bitter anguish. Bye. It was nice. Okay, can I give him the doily? Here you go. Dry your eyes with this. Why, thank you. Right. I'm off to have my beard beautified. Goodbye, kind stranger. Oh, he is a poorly fella. Oh, he'll have a nice time at the barbers. Will he, or is he going to get turned into a greasy pie? Hello, Governor. Hello there. Good day to you, Mr. Bandersnatch, <laughs> sir. Good day to you, Urchin. I ain't gonna be an urchin for much longer. I'm in the regional finals of Ragamuffin Idol <laughs> next Friday. What's Ragamuffin Idol? It's the national competition for waifs and strays to show the world their skills. What skills? Poloining. Misappropriation, pilfering, and good old fashioned delinquency. I love this so much. Good luck. You'll get my telephone vote. What's a telephone? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure why I said that. <laughs> what are you doing? Offering food scraps to those further down the social ladder than myself. It gives me a sense of enormous well being. Park life, eh? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> May I have oh a go? This is the last of my precious bird seed, you know. Please, may I have some of your bird seed? All right. In exchange for an equal token of self-congratulatory altruism. Come again. Give me some sweets. Okay, oh, I can do that. I see. Bye. Goodbye, Mr. Bladderpatch. Uh, sir. <laughs> Okay, sweetie with a. You can have one of these if you give me that bird seed. Just one? You can do better than that, mister. What? What? I only have one. They're loving all that bird seed. Keep off the grass. It's an oak tree. That big branch looks handy. I'm not strong enough in my current state. In my current state. It's a white poppy. Can I take the white poppy? I don't need to carry it around with me. I'm... It's a sea of red... Okay. Park bench. It's no longer occupied. Can I use it? I don't have time to sit down. Fine. 
Uh, right, let's go see if the portly bearded gentleman has been turned into a pie yet. Oh, there he is. That guy from the bench is in there now. I think he's hoping they take the whole lot off. I don't want to go in there. Okay. Can I get some more sweets? It's oh, he only won per customer. Damn you, Steve. Hello. Let's go back and see if I've missed anything inside or see if I can get upstairs. Because I realise I'd never actually used the stairs. I don't need to go upstairs. Well, that's not helpful, is it? It's stone cold. Okay. Pure, unadulterated carbon. This stuff is great for removing small particles and bacteria. What to do now? If I want to manually control the time, I will need to enable time skip first. I do hope you read the how to play guide before you started clicking around willy-nilly. I... I didn't. I'm sorry. I'll do that now. How to play this game. A thoroughly useful guide from the hand of Roderick Bandersnatch. That's me. I... That's... Bloody hell. Ready? Time. The game works in real time, so if you play between 8pm and 8am, the scenes, actions and characters will differ to those found during the rest of the day. What? If you do not wish your game playing experience to last for several months, you may enable time skip mode in your game settings. This will allow you to use the pocket watch in your inventory to skip Time. This game is real time. Really? That's amazing. But unexpected, and I'm very glad that I did this, but wow. That is all. <laughs> Fare thee well. Oh, this is incredible. Okay. Um, settings. Time skip. Let me see. It's after eight. AM. Yeah, it's, it's currently 8.34 in the morning. So, yes, yeah, so I need Let's to do this. Let's see what happens if I move us forward 12 hours. Uh-oh. I feel all funny. Down I go. Cripes. Oh. This must be the effect of my uncle's experimental good time formula. Oh. If this is his idea of a good time, no wonder my aunt left him. I don't like this. I think I should mix up that reversing formula quickly. <laughs> it looks like my uncle. Uh, oh, I can sniff things now. It smells now. like my uncle. It smells like seeds. They smell like amphetamine. So I can't talk to people anymore, I can only sniff. Interesting. It smells like. people. It smells pretty evil in there. Gonna sniff everything. They smell a bit like shaving foam. <laughs> Fatty pies. Oh no. Oh no. Today's special. Locally sourced. Oh no. Full fat. Meat. I can't really resist a greasy meat snack. It smells exactly like what it is. <laughs> Not until I know what's in it. Ah, sniff. This one doesn't smell familiar. This one doesn't smell. Ah, uh, okay. I don't want to go too far. Do I need to go and sniff the poppy in the park? Because then I'll know what it smells like. Mayhaps. Now that's a smell I won't forget in a hurry. There we go. Right, now let's go back. Find the one I need and grab it. God, I'm good at games. This one smells like those poppies in the park. Perfecto. Oops. I'll take this one. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna jump time forward again. Ooh, down I go. 
I think I'm only going to stay like this for the next... I'd better mix up the antidote quickly. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. What? That smock makes you look like a dressed crab. Your face looks like a boiled ham. Your pies smell of all rotten whale testicles. You smell like a mosque on... What a precious little dress you have on. Why, thank you. Uh... You're looking absolutely radiant today, Mrs. Figgins. Oh, stop it. These pies smell absolutely divine. May I try one? I'll think about it. You're truly glowing today, Mrs. Figgins. Oh, you. Please, may I sample one of your pies? Oh, go on then, you little wow, charmer. Wow, okay. Brilliant. Oh, oh, oily pie. It's dripping with grease. Nice. Come on. There's something metal sticking out. Oh, of okay. It. Holy crap. Oh. That could have been nasty. Oh, no. I found it in my pie. That's... That's not good. That's not good at all. Can I have a sweet, please, sir? Oh, he only wore... But it's by... Give me another one. Well, how do I get more sweets, then? In you go. It's just got poppy juice in it. It needs more ingredients. Okay, so, well, that's one ingredient hair now. of the dog. I need to boil up water, opium, and dog hair in a large crucible. Then drink it. I can hardly wait. So I need water and dog hair. Here, boy. Don't move. Got some. Cool. Okay, yes, dog hair. Bonk. In you go. Poppy juice and a little pinch of dog hair. But it's missing a final ingredient. So I need water. Now where am I going to get water from? Eh? No? Eh? No? I was also very wrong about how I was going to use the la the lice. I can't. They're too small. If I stood any nearer to them, I'd probably end up getting infested. Hey, his lice just tried to jump onto me but couldn't grip onto my silky smooth skin. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Uh -oh. right. First of all, let's go get a lice infestation. Hey, some of the circus lice just crawled onto me. Okay. Alright, uh, let's use okay. you again. Alright, look at it. I this. think they'd rather be on someone more tasty. Can I put them on the shopkeeper? They'd prefer someone more t The pie lady? She seems pretty tasty. Final stop, chaps. Meet your tasty new host. Oh, me head's itchy. <laughs> it feels like there's a ferret in me bonnet. <laughs> Better let me scalp breathe a bit. Oh, oh, I don't okay. want it, but more. It looks very absorbent. <laughs> Okay, now the bonnet's all greasy. I'm guessing that's going to make it flammable. Maybe I can use this to start the fire. Maybe, I'm not sure. Go oh, playing this in real time would be... I don't recognise any of these smells. No idea what's in... Well, that hasn't helped me, has it? Mmm, it smells like pie. It smells a bit like that guy I met on the bench <laughs> earlier. It has an exposed, naked flame at the top. Uh -huh. I need something very long if I wanted to interfere with okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. So use fancy paint. Just what that. I always wanted. A stick nice. with a greasy hat on it. This is a happy accident. Use. It's use. flammable enough, but needs to be longer. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, I clicked out the game again. See if I can go get the other walking stick that's in there, maybe? fashion them together somehow. I prefer one with a bit more snaz. Apparently not. Oh, I can interrupt with a mustache. It's peeling off the door. Aha. Thank you. It looks just my size. Ooh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> There's no way anyone will recognize me now. <laughs> I'm going to get another sweetie now I'm incognito. Hello, stranger. Don't mind if I do. Now I can get rid of my amazing disguise. It was it was a doozy. Okay, right. Hopefully that will give me enough 
the sweeties to have this bird seed, then I think I can probably give that to the lemming. You can have these if you give me that bird seed. All right, fair's fair. It's nearly all gone anyway. You drive a hard bargain. Uh, use seeds with lemming. I should just put them in his food chute. Where is the food chute? Ah, there's the food chute. Food chute. In they go. Maybe I should light that fire now. How do I do that? It's a funnel used for filtration. It needs some kind of fine gauze to work properly. Ah. That should help filter out any solid matter. Ooh. Can I... I don't want to remove all the meaty goodness. Hmm. So I've jumped a step ahead. So I've got that going. I need to light the fire, but I can't reach the fire yet. Which is problematic. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. The branch, the branch, the branch, the branch. Okay. That will help me with my length scenario because I couldn't take it in my current state but now I'm a big strong werewolf okay so can I combine those okay. I'll tie them together with this violin string perfect I now have a long pole with a flammable end nice okay right now let's use Mr. Flammable use Mr. Flammable okay. with the lamppost ooh Walking around with this inside my cloak's going to be a <laughs> delicate operation. Oh, I adore every single thing about this. Just everything about this is wonderful. Okay, right, let's use Mr. Bernie on this. I need to get all the ingredients. Oh, fine. Okay, can I pick up anything? So I need to get I need to get the water. That's the last thing I need I to get. I think I'm in enough trouble. Can I take someone's pint glass? He's pretty hammered. It smells like hope and misery <laughs> in equal measure. <laughs> Did you just sniff me? <laughs> Don't come near me again. Why would I, you mankish? Guff snatcher. Monkey. Got it. Perfect. It's empty, but 100% grog resistant. Okay. So I need to fill this with something. Shittleberry. Can I. Okay then. Oh, that's I have no idea why I'm doing gross. this. Um, okay, so I should be able to filter that, I guess, and get the water using that, mayhaps. That was pretty good guesswork, if I do say so myself. It needs something to filter out all the solid particles and bacteria. Ah, charcoal. Okay, in it goes. Oh man, this stuff honks. Yeah. Look at that. It's still clean. Perfect. I'm still going to boil it first, though. Okay, so you go there. In you go. Water, poppy juice, and a little pinch of dog hair. Perfect. I ah. th oh, no. I skipped it by accident. Okay. Right. Here we go. Here we go. So it's roaring now. Water, poppy juice. I do believe it's ready. Right, let's try it out. Hey, this doesn't taste too bad. <laughs> well, this is just dandy. I did try to <laughs> Nailed it. Called it from the beginning. That was amazing. Amazing. So yeah, this was made from scratch in two weeks for a game jam, which is just phenomenal. But I don't do game development because I'm not clever enough, which is why I play games and don't make games. So game development is basically just wizardry to me. But 
anything within like two weeks to make this is just great because it's so good there's so many elements to it and it's like it's like old school like the lucas art point and click games which is just amazing and i just love it and the the humor is just great and i just love it i love it dearly so you should definitely check out if you like this kind of game you should definitely check out lucy dreaming as well because that's obviously it's just the demo out at the moment but that's on kickstarter at the moment so hopefully that meets its goals and turns into a full game because what i've played so far is just incredible but this is just as good so if you want to check this out for yourself then the link to the game page is in the description i will also put the link to the lucid dreaming demo and the lucid dreaming kickstarter in the demo as well if you have a game you've developed or there's a game you think i should check out then let me know about it leave me a comment reach out on social media and i will play it thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed this video, then why don't you go ahead and the like button. The meaty, meaty pie that is the subscribe button. Make sure you that bad boy. And until next time, love you, bye.